Elon Musk went to Twitter to do what he does, what he fills his days with, which is just whining endlessly. He tweeted, use of the word billionaire as a pejorative is morally wrong and dumb. Tonguey face. He has hundreds of billions of dollars and many consider him a literal genius. Tonguey face, don't don't be mean to billionaires. And so Farron, like this, this is our world. He's gonna own that platform and what he's gonna use it for is to say, you guys are being mean to us. <laughs> you know, I when I saw that tweet, my first thought was that when she was a baby, Emma Stone had colic and whined and cried and screamed so bad that it permanently changed her voice. Really? And I guarantee I guarantee you that that young Emma Stone baby didn't whine as much as Elon Musk because this man has become a, com- a professional complainer. Elon Musk isn't building the spaceships. Hmm. No, he's not. He's not. He's not doing that. Like he's. This is what he. Like they think he's off. Like hammering body panels on a Model S. No, he's tweeting all day long. You get that? That's what he's doing. Anyway, like there, there is there is substance to this because I think that. We're having a little bit of problems with our connection with Farron. We're gonna work on that. Um, so you you have a thing where in America, the wealthy have been outnumbered by the poor for a very long time. And because while we don't live in an actual democracy, we live in something that's similar to democracy in some ways. They know that letting people vote for their interests, having them actually pursue their own interests wouldn't benefit the billionaires. So they've had to co-opt the poor into supporting the economic interests of the elite for a very long time. Elon Musk is just the latest iteration of that. And he is like the most ham fisted in how he manages it. So he tweeted, who do you trust less? Real question, politicians or billionaires? And um, because his followers have self selected into their only main interest is licking billionaire boots. They think this is a serious question. And they more importantly think that that poll has two different choices on it. It doesn't, that's the same thing. The politicians and the billionaires who fund them have the exact same interests. Elon Musk is kind of dumb, maybe he doesn't get that. But the fact that people would respond to that poll fair and not understanding that the billionaires buy the politicians, it is frustrating to me. Like, and look, he he then turns to AOC because he's literally obsessed with her. And he says, I dare you to run the same poll with your followers. But both of their followings are not a representative sample. Does he not get how polls are supposed to work? I'm assuming not. I mean, look, he knows exactly what he is doing. He knows how to work the crowd. Honestly, he's a lot like Donald Trump in that regard. But what is happening is that he is trying to convince these people, as you're talking about here, that somehow there's a difference between the billionaires and maybe even the millionaires. I don't know if he counts them. We could still use that as a pejorative, I guess. But and the politicians and folks, it's not politicians versus the billionaires. It's politicians and billionaires versus everybody else, whether you're left, right or center. They're not your friends. There's a couple good ones, don't get me wrong. We all know there's a couple good ones. But there's so few of them that we can count them on two hands, even if you're missing a couple of fingers at this point. There's not enough. And and they are aligned with the the moneyed classes, the, the financial interests. They have the power to buy off all of these people. Joe Manchin isn't a horrible person just because he chooses to be a horrible person. Joe Manchin is being paid to be horrible. Kirsten Sinema is being paid to be horrible. Mitch McConnell is a horrible person on his own, but he's also getting a lot of money for it too. And that's what this is. So he's just trying to say that, oh, look, us poor billionaires, trust us, believe in us. No, you're just as bad as a Mitch McConnell, if not worse. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You rightly point out there are a couple of good ones, and I would gladly tax away the vast majority of their wealth as well. Um, again, all of this, this is all dragon sickness. This is all it is. Elon Musk wants to have a couple extra zeros that have no effect on his actual life. If you think, like every, there are people watching the show, many who need more resources uh, just to survive. We're, we're very much on the edge. At a certain point though, 
beyond what most people have access to, if you believe that money necessarily makes you happier, and you wanna be disabused of that notion, just watch Elon Musk. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.